Hey guys, I'm Dylan DD and I'm back here with another video for you guys. Today we are watching the Artemis Fowl trailer released not too long ago. And I just gotta say, there's not a lot of light in here, so I'm using one of my lamps for light. So, say that. And also my chickens and ducks are going crazy out there. I don't know why, but if you hear any chickens or duck noises or just cars going by, it's outside, not in here. But... I am a big Artemis Fowl reader, okay? I, uh, I read them from the graphic novels, and years ago, I read the graphic novels, loved it. I loved Artemis Fowl, I was a fan of him, I loved how this genius, this genius 12-year-old could be, like, such a criminal mastermind. I loved how he discovered the fairy world with, uh, his very, very intimidating butler, and him, uh, capturing Holly Short and her boss, uh, Captain Root, Having to come get her and the troll and everything. I just love everything about Artemis Fowl. And I'm talking very quick because I'm very sad. My, like, my knees are shaking. I was not shaking this much watching the Endgame trailer, which is, which is very, very odd. Because Endgame was spectacularly good. It just says a lot of how promising I want this trailer to be. Like, this trailer is very promising. The, uh, the person playing Artemis Fowl, uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Honestly, I prefer the uh, red shades over the black ones, like in the graphic novel. But you know, overall, I like it. Okay, I, I this trailer, this trailer looks very promising. I really want to see how the butler, um, Harley Short, and uh, um, what's the name, Captain Root? I want to see what how uh, Julius uh, Root looks. Also, wait, what's that dwarf? What's the name? What's the name of the dwarf that? The dwarfs that just chows down on the ground takes to mulch, mulch, no mulch. A YouTuber. What am I? It's mulch. Yes, mulch. I'm gonna see how he looks too, if he's even in the movie. I, I don't even know. I hope this movie is based on the first story because the first story, not as kid friendly, but is still kid friendly. I don't see anything wrong with it. It might, and I'm saying not as kid friendly because the story itself might apply to more teenagers than adults. But I feel like it would pass off and be good for kids, honestly. Or people who read this. Uh, who read this series. So, yeah. Honestly, I'm very... Okay, I gotta get into this. I'm very excited. I had this big ball of nostalgia. I gotta read this. Not read it. I mean, we want to know it. everything about the man I work for. The man. Oh, oh, oh no. This isn't about the father. This is about the son. Hmm. Artemis Fowl. So far, it's looking pretty good. So far, it's looking pretty good. You've grown strong, son. Ooh! And smart. Yeah, good. Oh, you good. Than I ever imagined. Then take me with you. You're all I have now, Artie. There's just one very important thing I have to do. Authorities launched a worldwide manhunt for the famous collector. He is suspected to have been behind some of the biggest robberies ever. Dad. Okay. I am utterly confused. I don't know. All right, I'm going to continue watching. Hello? Your family has taken something of great value from us. Return it to me or I will destroy everything you love. Ooh, the butler! I'm supposed to see this butler here. looking nice. Your father is in a complicated profession. For what? years, he has protected what? powerful secrets that have kept mankind safe from the dangers of another world. It's time to face your destiny. Don't look around. This is what they call greatness. But we are not alone in this. Mulch Just a talented giant dwarf. Hey, I'm Holly Short. You're Holly. Oh, Holly Short. Holly Short. Look at nice. It's real. All right. Save my father. Save the world. Hold team ready. Tell them we are dead. Scared, Artemis? I prefer scared to dead. An army is coming. Criminal mastermind. Now look around. This is what they 
call greatness. I didn't breed much on trolls. Anything else to look out for? The teeth. They eat people. Good to know. What? What? Oh my cheese and crackers. I'm speechless right now. Okay, I don't know what to say. I was, I'm not planned right now on what to say. Okay, hold on. I need to take a moment to think and process everything that I just watched. What? Did I just watch? No, there's no way. No, this is there's no way. Artemis Fowl in the book was his genius mastermind stuck in a 12-year-old's body. Okay, like he himself discovered the fairy world. He was very intelligent, one of the most intelligent people in the world. And apparently, apparently, he knew nothing. It wasn't him who discovered the fairy world. It was his father instead. You serious right now? No, there's no, no. Not only that, but Holly Short is immediately his ally? No, there's no. His father was supposed to be dead in the in the book. His father was supposed to be dead. Even though I'm pretty sure he came back in later books. Spoiler for anybody who wanted to read the books. Very sorry. But his father was supposed to be dead. Him and Holly are supposed to become allies later in the book series. I'm pretty sure. He didn't know what... I am disappointed right now. I just have this level of disappointment just on my shoulders right now of how disappointed I am. I, I came in here very... Pro I mean, it looked very promising, but now just... Disappointment is on my shoulders right now. This this is not the book that Artemis Fowl readers like me... like. Like, this is not the book that we deserve. Even the like and dislike ratio says it all, honestly. As every trailer nowadays, always getting dislikes more. Mm, once some of the major comes out, nobody likes it. <sighs> honestly, I just don't know what to say. I'm pretty disappointed. Okay, they, they took everything special about Artemis and made him not this intimidating 12-year-old genius, but this... Some of the biggest robberies ever. <laughs> But apparently this normal kid that knew nothing, this normal average nerd that just knew nothing, not saying that nerds are bad or anything, but still, Artemis in the book is not like this. There's no, he's not, this is not, I look at this trailer and I do not see Artemis Fowl. The only thing in this trailer that reminded me of Artemis Fowl, honestly, is this part. This part, no, th this part right here. Hold on. Can I get it? I'm first scared to dead. That is the only thing that reminded me of Artemis Fowl. That sounds like something that Artemis would say if he was on the big screen. Big screen. But apparently, no. Apparently, no. The Artemis Fowl in the book would never get scared of that troll. Like, re look at this, look at this. They eat people. Good to know. Artemis Fowl in the book would never get scared from something like this. There's no way. Now, on top of that, apparently he's got to save his father. So why did Disney have to change something like this? Now I see how he could not be as kid-friendly, even though it kind of is kid-friendly in a sense, but as kid-friendly as they want it to be, they changed it up. Why did you have to change it up like this? Why? Just imagine. This just reminds me for some reason. I don't even know why. It just reminds me for some reason. Imagine if Disney directed the Harry Potter movies. Imagine how different it would be from the original Harry Potter movies that we all know and love. I feel like this is something that Disney should not have directed. This doesn't feel like a movie that the readers deserve. This looks like another Disney cash grab. You heard it here, folks. I called the first ever Artemis Fowl movie... A cash grab because that is basically what this is in my eyes 
Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be a bad movie or anything like that. Now, Coco, the trailer looked all right. It looked like kind of a rip off of that old B movie. What was it called? Book of Life or something like that. But turns out the movie was spectacularly good. It's still one of my favorite Pixar movies of all time. Shout out to you, Coco. But not saying it's gonna be bad. Not saying it's gonna be good. But it's not gonna be something special. Okay. I feel like they really should have gone with the original story because it would have made more sense and would have appealed to more readers and such. And would not get 14,000 dislikes and only 100... No, no, no. 14,000 dislikes and only 10,000 dislikes. Well, look at this like and dislike ratio, people! 10,000 likes and only 14,000 dislikes. Just... Alright. I can't talk right now. I, I just cannot talk right now because there's so much I want to say, but I'm putting in such short sentences. Okay, so overall, what did I think of the trailer? Disappointing. The trailer is disappointing on so many levels. And the 14,000 dislikes say it all. I don't mean to crap on this trailer, but honestly, I'm going to crap on it if I want to. Because they have... It was disappointing. I'm not saying the movie's going to be bad. But it's not going to be anything particularly special. Okay. I'm still going to go see it, honestly. <laughs> I'm still going to go see it no matter what. Because <laughs> I still have that ball of nostalgia and Artemis Fowl fanboyism, I guess you would say. I don't know. I'm still going to go see it no matter what happens. But I'm not going to go in there thinking that it's going to be something great and very memorable. I'm just going to go in there thinking, okay, this is going to it's going to be a movie. What's this about? Okay. So, once again, nothing bad. I don't, I don't see it being terrible or anything else just by the trailer. But I don't see it as anything being special. And the trailer, very disappointing. But anyways, guys, that's my opinion. If you guys are a reader of the book and you like this trailer, then, well, it's, it's just my opinion, okay? I have no control over you guys. So comment down below saying if you like this trailer or if you hated the trailer. I don't care. It's just my opinion. Get out of here, Facebook. But it's just my opinion. If you guys like this video, make sure to like it. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a brand new video for me. And subscribe to the channel. Become a part of the DED squad. And uh, if, if you're a fan of Artemis Fowl, then make sure to drop a like and comment down below. Another reason you should like this video. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, if you, if you guys want me to react to another trailer or anything else, then comment down below saying which trailer I should react to. Because, you know, trailers are fun. Not this one. But anyways, without further ado, I'm Dylan DD, and I'll see all you viewers in the next video. Bye-bye. Peace out, everybody.